Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, write an XPath to find all the checkbox fields on the page which are in checked state or in selected state. Let me practically demonstrate to answer this question for you. So we have to write this kind of XPath expression. So if you can see, this XPath expressions are starting with double forward slash. That means this is a relative XPath expression. And generally, the checkbox fields will have the input tag. And uh, they have the type specified as checkbox. So at the rate type is equal to checkbox, we have to say. And also, we should not be finding all the checkbox fields. Rather, we should be only finding the checkbox fields which are in checked state. As per this question, we have to only locate or find the checkbox fields which are in selected state or checked state. That's why I'm adding one more attribute known as checked attribute. In XPath expression, we have to write that as at the rate checked. Okay. If you don't write this part, it will find all, it will locate all the checkbox fields on the page, whether they are in selected state or not. But in this question, they're asking us to find the checkbox fields, which are only in selected state. So we have to add this extra attribute known as checked. So let me practically demonstrate this right now. For that, I'll open the browser, take you to a sample application URL, omai.blogspot.com. Once you are taken to the sample application URL, what you have to do here is right click somewhere on the page and select inspect. Now locate all the checkbox fields on the page. Now locate all the checkbox fields. I told you already, all the checkbox fields will have which input tag, now which type of HTML tag, input tag. They will have input tag. Checkbox will have the checkbox fields will have the input tag. So select one line, HTML line, and say control F, you'll get this box and double forward slash, give the input tag. You see, there are 35 elements, but not all of them are checkbox fields. Okay. How to filter from 35, how to filter the UI elements on this page, which are checkbox type. For that, we have an attribute. For every checkbox field, there will be an attribute known as type attribute. So in XPath expression, we have to give at the rate type is equal to, uh, what is that? Checkbox, right? Do checkbox. Now, once on doing that, out of 35, only seven checkbox fields are there. You just see on the UI. You see, this is one checkbox, this is another checkbox. Okay. There are around, you know, seven checkbox fields. On this page, there are around seven checkbox fields, starting with this one to ending this one. Total seven checkbox fields are there. But in the checkbox fields, not all checkbox fields are in selected. For example, blue checkbox field is not in selected state, but this XPath expression is still locating the this blue checkbox field. But we have to locate only the checkbox fields which are in selected state. But if you see this uh, orange checkbox field, HTML code, there's an attribute known as check. But for blue checkbox field, there is no attribute like check because it is not in selected state. So to filter out the checkbox fields which are in selected state, add one more square bracket and select, uh, write down at the rate check. It doesn't have any value. Check, check the attribute doesn't have any value. So don't have to write at the rate check if you write and press enter. You see, you see out of seven checkbox fields, there are only two checkbox fields which are in selected state. One is orange checkbox field. The other one is this uh, laptop checkbox field, orange and laptop. Okay. These are the two checkbox fields currently on the page, which are in selected state. So hope you got an idea of how to write an XPath expression like this to locate the checkbox fields on the page using XPath expression, which are in selected state. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.